Um, I, I did want to just submit testimony. I appreciate your indulgence uh, in favor of this bill. Uh, I do recognize and I've read the, the uh, testimony from the agencies and I know there's certainly challenges, but I think you're getting to an important issue that we all carry, care very much about. It's uh, been pretty overwhelming, I think, the amount of federal money that has been flowing through our state and making sure that we have the proper safeguards in place to make sure those policy decisions are followed through, I think, you know, as you all know, the legislature sets the policy. And last year in particular, one of those policies that we came to on a, on a compromise agreement was funding the unemployment trust fund. Um, and we know right now where that money is right now. And the, the policy changed and somebody is, you know, intending to use it for, in a different way than what we intended. And so to not have that ability to continue to monitor and have a say in the process, um, I think, you know, is troubling. And I think so looking at legislation like this, even looking at the back end of the process, I think to Representative Walker's point, you know, making sure the money is being spent correctly after the fact, that might be part of what we would want to do with legislation to get proper reporting in front of us. You know, in listening to the testimony today, I will, will speak frankly that would a little troubling to me is I think a remark was made that legislative leaders were briefed. And I guess depending on what you define as a legislative leader, um, I thought I fall under that definition as, as the House Republican leader. I've not been briefed at all on any of this um, funding. And, and so that alone concerns me. You know, we talk about this infrastructure bill being used for roads and bridges, you know, putting our construction teams back to work. I'm not sure, and I think the points are made that where there's discretionary funding, um, will the money go there, you know, or will it go toward clear cutting, um, you know, trees along the sides of highways, which I know there's bills in the Environment Committee addressing that. So I think that I, I appreciate this bill. I think we as a legislature need to have a seat at the table and I wanted to, to weigh in and echo my support um, by submitting this testimony. So thank you. Thank, thank you, um, uh, uh, Rep Representative Candelara. And uh, we all consider you a leader in the General Assembly also. Um, Representative Walker, you're muted, ma'am. I know, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But thank you. Thank you, Representative Candelara, for, for your testimony. And, and we didn't get briefed, so I'm trying to figure out who in leadership got briefed. So uh, when we find out, we'll let it. If you find out, let us know. <laughs> but I think that you're 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 spot on. We we did the right thing before, and things didn't happen. So we have to be a little bit more vigilant about making sure it's very clear about how we want things to be done. Not again, not obstructing. Right. But just, just in, you know, we're part of the conversation. And if you listen to some of the, the testimonies and the questioning, one of the things that we pointed out is that there is matching money that they have to get, and it has to come from the General Assembly. So that in itself lets us know that we do have a part in this, and we just have to make sure that people understand. So thank you for your testimony. Thank you. Representative France. Thank you, Madam Chair, and uh, thank you, uh, Representative Candelora, for coming in and uh, you know, giving your support to this program. Uh, and I think your comments are spot on, as well as others. Who uh, it's really the legislative role to provide oversight to the executive branch and the execution. I just want one question: Is there uh, in providing that oversight and what we've witnessed from the federal money that's gone out? Are there thoughts? Your thoughts on how? maybe the legislature can do a better job of providing that oversight in the execution uh, of what we've tasked the executive branch to do uh, so that we you know, don't get into some of the position we're in now where we passed legislation, gave direction, not executed, and we're now months and months later and still not um, having them execute the, the, as we had passed. Well, as I pointed out in my testimony, I think to, to attempt to avoid the constitutional issues um, that I think OPM pointed out is maybe looking at, you know, similar to the Transportation Strategy Board that we've had in the past. Um, it might not, it might need to be a little bit broader, um, but some type of review board um, in that regard 
could provide a level of oversight. You know, I think there needs to be somebody there that is working with our local municipalities, whether it is clean water or, you know, the bridge, the roads and bridges. I mean, I know there's a lot of moving parts to this, but how do we prioritize these plans, especially when it comes to transportation? You know, we all know we struggle to keep it solvent. And this, this money coming in is gonna provide solvency for our, our transportation plan. So I think we need a role in that because this money that's really supplanting the transportation dollars that we need um, needs to fill in that gap. And if, if I'm making sense, um, so it really is becoming part of that budget. And that's why I point to the, the strategic board that I know we, we um, I think it was under Governor Malloy that funding was stripped, but is that a vehicle that, that might make sense to look at this to make sure that we are doing a long-term plan as it comes to the roads and bridges. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you, Madam Chair.